Okay, dear, welcome back uh, and good morning to everybody. So, uh, today we are going to discuss uh, Laplace smoothing uh, and what is the concept of it and how it is uh, important for designing a naive base uh, classifier. And earlier we actually discussed that there are two variants of um, naive base classifier which we will discuss. Uh, depending on uh, the way you represent the feature, okay. Uh, one is uh, if you actually represent features uh, like um, uh, the way we, we have discussed. Uh, so one is this model which we are discussing is known as multivariate Bernoulli event model. Okay, another way is there which we will discuss of a feature representation, uh, and that is uh, called multinomial event model. Okay. Uh, both the models are used for text classification, but uh, multinomial event model actually uh, is more uh, compact and it's, it, it is uh, uh, more efficient for uh, text classification. Uh, first we are uh, discussing uh, about multivariate Bernoulli event model okay. uh, and we are taking the example in the uh, earlier class, we took an example of uh, designing a, a spam filter. Okay. And uh, in the process of um, developing the model, so this is the model, okay, you see that there are uh, probabilities which are multiplied, right. Now suppose I have a vocabulary of 10,000 words and with some 5,000 words I have trained my model and now I am using it uh, for prediction, okay. This is a uh, equation for um, prediction. I have some feature and then um, my uh, spam filter will tell me that whether the feature belongs to a class uh, of spam mail y equal to 1. Okay. Now, if an unknown word, uh, I have received a mail uh, for which I am testing and there is an unknown word for my uh, spam uh, filter uh, or spam classifier, it has never seen before, then the probability of uh, well, that feature belonging to either of the class uh, spam or non-spam uh, will be zero and then uh, unfortunately the prediction uh, the, this equation will take the turn zero by zero form because uh, the word has not been seen. So some of the probability with that particular word okay, belonging to a, a spam class will be zero and here again um, non-spam, spam, spam uh, both will be zero because the word is unknown, unknown to the uh, classifier. So then we need to do something. So actually it is a bad idea to give that particular uh, probability a zero value. Okay. And we should not uh, try to, you see this is an example that say 400 words, uh, 400 words in my vocabulary, it could be anything. Okay maybe um, season uh, uh, which has not been seen okay, and uh, that uh, resulted 0 by 0 form for prediction. So how to fix it? I will take an example taking a digression. Suppose uh, there is a cricket tournament which is going on okay, and uh, all the countries India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Australia, New Zealand, West Indies, uh, England, Netherlands, they are playing the tournament. And Netherlands is a newcomer, as you know, okay, in cricket. So, following is the winning record of Netherlands. So, these are the dates and Netherlands when played with India, they could not win, so zero. Uh, when played with Australia, zero. When played with England, zero. Played with Pakistan, zero. And on some date, it played with Sri Lanka and it could not win, okay, uh, either. Now, the question is, what is the probability that it is going to play with Bangladesh and win? Okay. Now seeing all this record, it's natural to put this as zero, but this is a bad idea because as I uh, said that um, it may lead to um, uh, the, um, it may lead to non-predictivity. So that Laplace smoothing is required. So eventually in this uh, um, toy example, the maximum likelihood estimate of parameter phi j that um, it will uh, win is equals to 
number of time it uh, won in the past divided by number of times it actually was defeated and number of times it won okay so it was uh, um, actually uh, uh, mostly it was defeated so this uh, colored uh, one uh, is called labla smoothing what we do we add one to both these uh, terms okay and then instead of getting zero here we'll get a very low probability which is very practical isn't it means uh, Netherlands has been defeated uh, throughout the all the previous matches it does not mean that uh, it will not win in the future match so um, labla smoothing is trying to put some uh, um, uh, some weightage to that okay you see how so we have added this smoothing term we have added this smoothing term this smoothing term and as a result now probability of uh, Netherlands winning against Bangladesh is 1 by 7 which is not great but still <coughs> it uh, saved from uh, zero probability okay and this um, uh, example uh, will inspire us to do the same thing to avoid this kind of uh, possibilities okay so you see uh, so in general Laplace smoothing for multivariate Bernoulli even model actually uh, this parameter um, phi j when y equals to 1 okay uh, is equals to uh, indicator function 1 the uh, number of times the feature uh, appeared and it was a spam mail okay plus 1 and then uh, plus two because uh, for both uh, appeared and non appeared is total one um, one plus one equals to two so when we do this okay then it saved us from during prediction from making it zero by zero form uh, because this word even if it is not seen by my uh, filter uh, so the, the probability will not be assigned as zero anymore okay and same thing is uh, for this parameter uh, when it uh, does not it belongs to non spam class so this is this terms are known as labla smoothing and for multinomial event model which we are going to discuss next actually uh, all uh, here we add one and here uh, plus k okay uh, where z is a multinomial random variable parameters by phi j uh, okay? and uh, the maximum likelihood estimate gives that phi j equals to indi indicator function uh, z i equals to j uh, divided by m uh, do not worry we will explain all this uh, j i term in our next uh, lecture and till then I think now you have understood the concept is very simple but the significance of it is uh, great because uh, practically it is saving us uh, from crashing our naive base classifier and uh, some uh, comments about uh, naive base classifier it's a wonderful classifier because as you can see that uh, it is very quick uh, virtually um, you are just um, from your um, mail previous mail record you can just tune these parameters train this parameter very easily and you can even make it adaptive newer mail you get and more and more spam mail you get you update these parameters and make your uh, spam filter smarter so you can start from uh, some small uh, model and see how it is working okay and uh, this is in fact a very quick and uh, rough model but uh, it works uh, well when you get experience in um, making these parameters uh, um, training process adaptive and um, it, it gives a very good result it's very popular um, model for many applications one of them is uh, spam classifier designing and uh, many other uh, cases it can be used um, uh, 
for example when you have uh, text to uh, classify then uh, even modeling the text you can use the multinomial event model when the uh, features need not be only Bernoulli's um, um, multivariate bar, uh, Bernoulli okay it could be multinomial um, the distribution could be multinomial distribution okay so we will uh, discuss that so two variation one is uh, multivariate Bernoulli event model which is very popular okay and uh, even uh, using this you can um, uh, you can extend the uh, Laplace, um, uh, oh, sorry, the uh, Bayesian classifier uh, uh, for classifying uh, and as a machine learning engineer as we told you that you need to gain your um, skill and skill set will be good if you uh, are constrained with data, okay. Uh, so um, constrained with data, start from very rough uh, model and gradually have more data and make the adaptivity of your model that's all uh, you can do using name based classifier okay okay thank you for your attention and uh, stay safe uh, wish you all the best